Esports. Esports has changed my life. Esports has ch probably changed a lot more than just my life, though. See, for my story, it all started back in high school. I really didn't do much. I mean, I just went to school and got good grades, but never really was part of the you know class. I didn't play any sports. I had no club or anything, so I was kind of just that weird, smart outcast. But at the start of junior year, I was invited to come play with some friends for the Smash team of our esports program. And that's what really woke me up to the opportunity that esports provided for so many different people, including myself. I started off as a GV Smash, JV Smash player, excuse me. And I had to prove myself every week that I was good enough to be playing the game. Uh, I remember I got argue, got into arguments about me being a varsity player because I put so much time into it. I practiced Super Smash Brothers around probably 10 hours a week that first year. And I just had such a routine I got to the point where I was going to tournaments in the local state of Wisconsin from Sheboygan and Green Bay and I watched my stats improve I went to online tournaments I played in some bigger online tournaments even like the world qualifier I got like 231 out of like a thousand or something I just felt like I had something to prove myself to and without the program like I wouldn't be where I am today. It offered me so much motivation, something to come to after school, and it honestly probably changed my life. When I was deciding to look for a college, there was one that came and visited the esports team that left a really big impression. That was the Lakeland University team. They just got their esports program off the ground and Coach Amon Green came in run back Hall of Fame Green Bay Packer player and just hearing that made my eyes light up and got getting to meet with him and play with him was such a crazy experience and we watched some of our seniors go and they seemed pretty happy and while well, they had a giant esports program and honestly their facility is so impressive it's just massive Uh, my name is Mason Wina. I'm a, a currently a senior. My name is Blake Young. My grade is ninth grade or freshman year. I'm Daisy Big Cat, and I'm, I'm a sophomore. Uh, my name is Justice here. Uh, I'm a junior at the Two Rivers High School. My name is Skylar Smalling. I'm an alumni and freshman at Lakeland University. Dan in ninth grade. Uh, this year has been Smash. Smite and later on Valorant when that comes out. Right now I'm playing Smash Bros. It might change, but right now only Smash Bros. I play Overwatch and Valorant. I play Overwatch and maybe Smash next week. I play Smash and then halfway through my second year I played Overwatch. Uh, Smite, Rocket League, and League of Legends. Uh, to be frank, I didn't really have anything else like at the time when I joined. Like I had, I was a nobody basically. And so I'm like, hey, yeah, that'll be fun. It'll be something I'm actually interested in doing for once. And yeah. Um, didn't really have much else to do. Um, I decided I didn't want to just do school because just doing that before wasn't working. Uh, because someone, my older brother, introduced me to esports. Um, I have a passion for like competitive, like just sports in general. So um, it kind of translated when I was playing Call of Duty at a younger age. I was playing, I played like on a team and then I found out we had an Overwatch team at high school and I tried out. Gaming's always been a hobby for me, so once my friends came and made the suggestion to play in esports for, competitively for Smash the first year, 
Uh, it just really kicked off my esports career, and it's just really fun for me. I did it last year, I'm going to stick with Oh boy, uh, so for starters, uh, I met a lot of people, including like you and stuff, and I actually like had a fully functioning friend group again, which is really nice. Uh, really helped with a lot of my self-confidence issues, and like really helped boost my self-esteem, because I, I used to think I was like a horrible person back then. And I mean, those are two like really good things, but I can't really say anything else. Communication. Communication. Or talking with, um, being able to talk with other grades. Uh, it really boosted like my like social interaction. Right. And, like I went out and like do more stuff with like participating and all that. Have you made any new like friends or friend groups? Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, have you grown as like a leader maybe? I'm um, getting there. Get in there. Okay, you're working on it. That's okay. Um, definitely made a lot of new friends like. Uh, one of my best friends now, uh, Reese. I uh, definitely would have made if I wasn't in the esports program. Um, it's given me an opportunity to, like, I guess, become, especially this year with all the seniors leaving. Uh, it gives me like an opportunity to become like a leader, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's gotten, it's made me more open to <laughs> expanding my horizons to meet new people play new games, <laughs> practice those games so I can become better. I mean, yeah, just being better with like people and all those things. Um, meeting new people, most likely. Uh, I mean, I'd say overall, yes, because it just has made me feel more positive about life in general, and that positivity has led to more productivity. Most of yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, it motivates me to, to at least go to school and in yeah. either way. How so? Participating. Participating. Um, do you feel like you're more involved in the school? Yeah. Um, do you feel like you belong? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it's given like a purpose for school. It doesn't motivate you to come here more often? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, kind of, because like, Reese. <laughs> <laughs> Elaborate. Uh, I don't know. We do like, we talk about like esports all the time and like what we're going to do and, um, like I said, I wouldn't be like good friends with. Yeah. Him. Does it motivate you at all for like classes? Does it make you want to come here more? Um, yeah, like those, cause I can leave early. So um, sometimes like I'll leave early to go to work, but like on days I don't have work, I'll stay and play games. Hey, it motivates me to stay at school. Uh, communication. All right. He very heavily communication. It's like I used to be extremely shy and all this and stuff, and now I'm like, I won't say full extrovert, but like I can definitely like talk to people a lot better than I used to. So far, I have learned that like um, certain like games you have to take more seriously, and certain games you have to work with your team more. Um, outside of that, there wasn't too much outside of like again communicating with people and. Yeah, so like one of the big things that I'm taking away is that you have to learn to talk to people properly, otherwise mm -hmm. you're going to get nothing done. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I've definitely gotten better at like the games I play. Um, like I said, um, being a leader, like leadership. Leadership. And then um, like announcing, because we do our streams. Right, so you got better at like being able to talk in front of an audience. Just like that. getting the experience. Right. Like that's the job I kind of want to go into. Okay. So. Um, I think... Communication skills, really. Talking to people, learning from mistakes. Like just, yeah, self-communication, really. Not yet. Not yet? Do you think there could be that you yes. can grow? Like what? Communication. Communication. That's a big one I've heard. Well, it depends on what you mean by sport, because, I mean, obviously, you know, sport's usually a uh, attributed to athletics and like think about NASCAR. Uh, NASCAR is a sport. That is true. To think about yeah, and I guess with, with the way it's spelled, esports, it's sports for electronic. Like it's the competitive aspect of it, but it's just digital. So do you think yeah. you're a student athlete? Would you consider yourself a student athlete? That, that's that's a bit of yeah. Yes or like, no? It's just it's just that simple. Yes, no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't just because student athlete just kind of implies like. You 
on Russell Wilson. Well, it's interesting that you say that because uh, a study I've seen, um, a lot of esports players do not believe in themselves as an athlete. So that's like a mental thing with most esports players that they have. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Why? Uh, because like, I think it does because of like all the uh, like people like coming together to like, help each other out as a team. Right, and you're practicing mm-hmm. every day for mm-hmm. the most part and you're working with a coach and mm-hmm. you're doing all these different abilities but why not because you said both well i feel like sometimes it's not like other sports where they have a bunch of um talk about it and all that where like it's on the uh, announcements and all that so it's kind of like blindsided as more yeah. of a club activity because the, the competitive nature like um it's the same thing i, I consider chess a sport like the, the competition is you know, second second to none. Like there's you, there's people that are filling out arenas to watch these guys play video games, and it's and at that point, I don't think it's just about video games. It's the competition itself. Yeah. Why people play people play it competitively all the time? It's gotten it's filled out stadiums. That's like that's what regular sports do. I've seen football stadiums packed out. I've seen esports stadiums packed out as well. So mainly, if you if you see stadiums like that packed out and millions of dollars paid out in prizes to players, I would probably consider that a sport. Yeah. Yes. Why? Because it's basically playing video games, but on your sport list. But also, you can do it anytime, like practice wise. Right, you spend a lot of hours practicing the yeah. games and getting better at them, just, just like, like an athlete. Do, like, like with what you do with actual sports. Uh, if I had to say, it's just, it's not just playing video games for fun. There's a lot of thought, like thought that goes into it, like trying to get better. It's like a genuine skill that you get to learn and like grow at, and it's really rewarding when you do get good at that skill. Um, overall, I think parents should know that it's not an overall waste of time. Like, um, kids can do so much with learning how to play things competitively, if, even if it is a game. Um, get things like, you know, money if they keep going with it, or they can work with people or do whatever they really want out in the field, like, if they keep going with the esports route. Um, it's just like, it's inclusive. You know, any, anybody can join and feel welcomed, I think, in our room definitely our program in general um i if you i mean if you love like video games and competing i think it's definitely like a good idea because you can make a bunch of new friends and there's just there's so many opportunities that come with esports it's it's great for for them to get out in the community people people often um think of esports as like, oh, you're going to do bad in school if you do this, you're going to play games 24-7. Well, yeah, they do, but they're also meeting people along the way. Those people will also be there to help you. They'll become your closest buddies. So, So, like, look at your own experience. Has it been a positive experience overall? Yes, Yes, it has. Right, so it's just an enjoyable thing for people to do and come to. And do you feel like you're more part of the school by doing this? A little bit. A little bit. Thank you.